Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. This is a game called Dome Keeper. It's a roguelike game where we've crash landed on this planet. All we have is this dome and we happen to be an engineer. So we're gonna mine below the dome for materials. We're gonna find upgrades, other gadgets to use. And then we're gonna use those things to fortify our dome and upgrade it and ourselves and the gadgets we find because we are getting attacked by these weird alien forces every once in a while. So think of it like uh, almost like Kingdom Two Crowns where you can venture out, but then you have to come back to defend. Very similar and by the same publisher, Raw Fury. So let's get into it here. We only have a laser dome right now, but potentially unlocking a sword dome later. Uh, we have an engineer, but maybe an assessor later. The gadgets, we have a shield on our dome, which is great. Don't know what these other ones do. We'll have to unlock them, repellent and orchard. And then the mode is relic hunt. We need to find our relic. That's the key. Prestige, don't know. We'll get there. Let's begin, shall we? We're gonna play on hard. Ooh, dome's intended difficulty, really? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> That'll be fun, we're going up brutal. I played around for a little bit on hard. And uh, it this is one of those games that is so addicting. It's, you're just like, oh, I'll just go do one more. I'll do, I'll do one more dive. I'm gonna get right to it. So, uh, keep an eye on the bottom left, you see a little blue meter. That's our shield dome. You also see a little monster there. When that starts flashing, well, I better be near the dome because I need to defend it. So right now, we're looking for m minerals, essentially. So this is like iron or copper. We can pick this up. And notice how slow we go. We can drop them, like it says, with B and we'll go a little faster. But that's something to keep in mind. Uh, ideally, we probably don't just take things back like that. Uh, we probably just leave them if they're really close to the surface. My preferred approach is to kind of build one main corridor down and then do some exploring off to the side. There's some potential upgrades like a sort of tractor beam that can be installed right below your base if we get lucky enough to find that. Oh, hello. This is nice. Okay, so this I believe is called Cobalt. And this is used to repair our dome and fortify our dome. Those are the only uses for it, but they're very important. So I'm going to take these here. I feel like we're going to have a an enemy come any second now. Nice lightning strike there. Okay, bottom left. See him flashing? Now, there's things that we can install. We're going to go to our station, and we're going to go to battle mode. We have a laser on top. A laser can be upgraded with more damage and more speed. Notice he takes our shield down. If the shield goes down, we start taking structural damage. Before I go down, let me go here. At the computer, everything is paused, okay? So we can go into our upgrade screen. I'll give you a brief overview here. This top section is the dome upgrade. So a couple of really nice to haves is a hostile proximity meter, which literally gives us a countdown timer to see when the enemies are going to attack. Uh, the health meter, so we can actually see what our dome's health is at. Right now, we know it's at 100% because he didn't get through our shields. We can show our inventory, which is really nice. But right now, I can see our inventory in this screen, so it's not a, a must-have. Right now, these are nice-to-haves, and we will get them. Drill strength lets us dig faster. And as we get deeper, it's harder to dig through different, uh, different layers of rock. So this really helps with that. Um, we can go faster here, top speed. We can decrease our carry slowdown rate, which is nice. And then we can buff our laser. We can make the laser go back and forth a little faster. This is really important because if you're stuck on one side and you have to go all the way to the other side, it takes a long time. And then here we've got uh, the shield. So we can increase its strength. We can add an ability to it, or we can give it an overcharge ability uh, that uses up some of our extra resources if we have them. Any gadgets and things like that that we find can also be upgraded. So hopefully I can find one of those very soon and we can get some upgrades going. For now, I'm just going to take a faster dig, our uh, drill strength, and that'll get us pummeling through the stuff pretty, pretty quick. So I'm going to go a little deeper here. I would love to be able to find an upgrade. Some of them include um, scanners. Oh, nice. That we can use to, to kind of blast an AoE. And when we do that, let me just drop these for now. We can get pings on where materials might lie in the environment. So right now we're literally shooting blind. 
Now, uh, my strategy is, at least right now, we're going to be... Oh, this is going to be really slow, but we'll just pop through here. That's fine. We'll drop these off. Make sure that we get these. The aliens could come at any time. We can kind of get a sense of, of how long in between they'll be, but getting that meter up is really nice. Um, the upgrades that we're looking for come in kind of blocks of four. So if we have a block of four somewhere, we definitely want to break that to see if there might be something inside of it. Okay, I'm up here. I'm up here a little too late, and we're getting attacked from either side. So we're going to definitely take damage. Keep an eye when these guys hit. Look at that blue meter. That's our shield. And then now our shield is down. We're going to start to take actual structural damage. As these guys are getting hit, they attack a little slower, which is nice. But Okay, so we could, we could go into this. We could repair stuff if we need, but we can only do that after we get the health meter. We know it's taken a couple hits, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to save these upgrades for now because I want to buff our speed so our retrieval is a little bit quicker than it is right now. I know I have a lot of blocks down here, so we can easily pick these up on the way out. I might just want to do a run where I grab these blocks instead of digging at all, but I'm going to check out this tiny section here. Now, notice the different patterns dictate how quickly. Well, let's take... Let's drop one of these. Let's take four. I feel like three is kind of, like, optimal between speed and efficiency. But um, we can get upgrades to help with this, too. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to grab these three. And this will probably be it for right now. Haven't found a gadget yet. And when we do, I'm going to be pumped. Okay, let's check an upgrade real quick. Let's go into um, top speed. And we're going to go into carry strength here. And then uh, let's do this one. We'll do the health meter. So you can now see the health of the dome in the bottom left. Now keep in mind, this cobalt repair is percentage based. So, the reason I point that out is because if we do a heal right now, we're going to heal like that small percentage, which is fine. But it's much more effective if I do this heal after I increase the overall structural health of the dome. So, I'll probably wait to do any heals until we uh, get the overall structure health up. Um, but I imagine we're going to get an attack here right away. Yeah, boom, right on cue. That is great. Okay. I can see him off to the right there. Look how long it takes to get my laser from one side to the other. By the time I started moving it, it would have been better for me to just leave it on that side. This is where the speed upgrades really come in nice. I also have a flying unit, which is annoying, but it doesn't deal as much damage as the melee units. So those are my priority for right now. We are on Brutal, so I don't really know what to expect from this, but I imagine it's going to be painful. <laughs> Great. See, now we blast through this with ease. And then we get this new kind of colored layer, which takes a little bit longer to go through. So I'm going to spend my time here for now. Let me just bring these up, and then I'm going to go over to this left side. See if we can't find some type of gadget to help us. Let's just go straight down here. Okay, we'll take those, sure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Found one. Okay. So this we drag back. And as soon as we get it to that bottom layer of the dome, we're going to find out what it is. We're going to get two choices. Well, three, but one is not a good idea. Okay, so we can get a stun laser, auto targets and stuns monsters, or we can get a condenser. This is going to add a machine under the dome that slowly produces water. So... Every, like, couple of cycles, we would get a free uh, blue material that I'm carrying right now. This is good, um, depending on some of the upgrades that we get. This is one I've tried. I've never tried stun laser, so I'm going to try stun laser. So now I have a secondary laser here, and it sounds like I don't even have to operate it, which is great.
Okay. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm late. This is... I'm too late. I need to get that meter going. Yeah, I am in trouble. Okay. Okay, so he stuns, which is great. But does he kill at all? Or does he only s slow him down? There might be an upgrade that we'll check. We're, we're actually taking a ton of damage, but this is on the hardest difficulty, which I feel like, yes, is a noticeable improvement over what I've played previously. And by improvement, I mean for the enemy. Uh, okay. So let's take a look at what's possible to upgrade here. Stun laser. Add a small amount of damage for three squares and two circles. Sure. So it does 0.01 damage, which is fine. If you look at our current laser, I do 15. So the auto laser doing three is like, not bad. It's 20% of our damage, which I can't really complain about. Simple AI will control the stun laser even when you're not inside the control station. Interesting. I don't know if I need that because I should be up here defending anyways, but we'll see. Um, hmm. Let's let's add a little damage to it. I'm going to be cheap with my cobalt here and I'm going to hopefully not need it. My next upgrades, I'm going to go into the monster meter. Nice. Okay, I'm going to take these back right now because I want to take all of them. And I want to be ready for the next attack because, holy smokes, the amount of enemies is just insane. So you can be in this screen while it chomps through your materials even though you're paused, which I think is really nice. Okay, now, I might actually take laser strength here, so our main laser gets a bit of a buff. And we should be putting out a little bit more damage. We could buff our shields. This overcharged shield we could upgrade and then use um, these water molecules, these, these circles, to overcharge our shield. It's pretty good, and in combination with that other possible unlock that I didn't choose, that's kind of a decent upgrade because you can kind of overcharge for free every couple of days. Uh, but let's take damage, and I'll see if I can just get, like, I'll just clear out some of these. Not important, but it does speed up our runs, because we don't have to dodge as much. And this is just basically killing time for an enemy to come. Now, there are outer, like, boundaries that we'll hit. Okay, I probably could have grabbed a couple there, but this is not good. Oh yeah, we're in trouble big time. We're going to kill him faster. We got swarms. Oh my god. Don't do it! <laughs> I don't know if we can recover from this. I honestly don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try and get these six real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And then we'll do the cobalt repairs. And we'll see if we can just squeak this out right now. I'm, I'm just kind of on the edge here. And being late for those attacks is just absolutely horrible. Okay, so I'm going to add 300 HP, which is going to bring up the top end. Gives us, gives us 300 HP as well. But then I'm going to do a repair just to give us some extra room there. Uh, I'll save the rest. And the reason is because I can use two to reduce the amount of melee damage that comes in. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just do that now. We'll see if I end up regretting that, but... Let's stay relatively close 
to the surface here and just see if we can get lucky finding anything here. Nice. So you can see those, those smooth lines there. That means you've reached the edge. Okay, I'm heading back. I need to be there for this one. And we're going to grab the, the proximity meter upgrade for sure. Okay, hostile proximity meter. There we go. So you can now see in the bottom left by the monster icon uh, when it's coming. I'm here early, but you know what? <laughs> I need to be right now. So it's fine. It's fine. Uh, this little section is where some of our other upgrades will go that have usable things. Like, we can get that proximity scanner. There's a charger that goes in there. Uh, that water condenser would have gone in there. The upgrade that we picked obviously went on top. I also believe that if we're... Oh, nice. I believe if we're firing, the laser moves slower. Okay, so the laser's actually really good for... For those little guys. I think I can kill this guy before he gets through the shield. And he slows him down very nicely. I, okay, I, all of a sudden I'm feeling a lot better about this. But we need to focus on getting some personal upgrades going now. This stuff is really tough to get through. Come on, give me anything here, anything. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I, I really enjoy these games that have like a, a nice push and pull system. Where like, you ha you're balancing. It's a risk. It's a risk all the time. So let's take those. I'll drop one. We'll take two of these. We'll head back with this. There was an upgrade that I found one time where I could put a teleport down and basically once a day I could teleport to a spot really deep. So the reason that was cool is because um, you save a ton of time not having to dive all the way down there, right? I'm going to go 50-50 here. Our other laser's on that side, so I'll just take the opposite side of wherever that one's at. Okay, way to hold him down, love that. I got nothing showing on the right. No, okay. I'm going to hope he goes for that. Okay, we're taking structural. Don't love that. But we did get that melee resist. Okay. What's my inventory at? Three and two. Um, okay, so we need, what, what's crucial right now? The stun laser cools down faster, fires for longer. Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to take that. I think right now prioritizing just defending our base would be great. And then we want to get more drill speed. Because you can see here, it's taken us a little while. I'll carry these with me. Still move at a pretty decent pace. Now, it'll be interesting over the long term to, to understand if they put upgrades at different depths. Like, is it possible that I would find another upgrade at this depth? I would imagine no, but I also don't know, so... I'm going to have to head up soon. Okay, let's get out. This is not going to be enough for an upgrade. Oh, we're going to snap here, I think. Oh, that's rough. That's too bad. That happens. Okay. Not enough for any upgrades. Painful. Let's go on the opposite side of the laser, just to maximize our chances. It'd be kind of cool if I could independently control that laser. 
I'm gonna let him maybe deal with that. I'm getting hammered on the left side here. All right, all right, all right, all right. I need like uh, any type of other upgrade, man. We're we're taking an absolute beating here. Nice. Okay. Let's just drop these all for now. We're finding quite a bit in this area. I better check just in case. Actually, if it's in a group of four like that, I don't think I would have to check because we get we know if there's something in there when we're beside the wall. So maybe leaving um, like rows of two wide is the way to go. Okay, let's take these, even though I don't really have a use for them. I'll just bring them here. And then let's take this batch. I think I need eight for my next personal upgrade. Um, I don't have any cobalt either. I have zero for repairs, so um, it's game time right now. This is serious. Okay, now the way it's moving, I wonder if it can kind of predict. I hope he gets the bottom guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to let the horde go. I got two hammer in here. All right, we're alive. That's all that matters. Oh, I'm one. I'm one short. Okay, that's that's rough. That's where having the inventory numbers is nice, cause. I can, uh, I can see those at a glance, just like I'm seeing those things now. If you buy the inventory upgrade, then you know exactly how many you have. Which, like here, could have been the difference and saved me, you know, 20% of that day. Okay. Uh, let's go drill. I'm really hoping to find a cobalt here because we need to do a repair. Nice. No cobalt, but that's fine. Yeah, so I think if we do like a, a strip of two, that's the way. Alright, that's going to be about it. We'll take the six. There's some other cool gadgets that we can find too that we could, like there's uh, proximity, or not proximity, there's basically bombs that we can drop that blow up big chunks of things. Okay, now do I want to upgrade my laser here? I better upgrade the speed. And that leaves me with four. Anything I can do with four? If I had that other blue, I could get the other laser upgraded. I could do the overcharge, but then I won't have the the water orb to actually overcharge it. So, uh, yeah, we fight. Okay, sick. I got three over here, so I hope that other laser can just hold him at bay for a sec. Okay, if I don't get Cobalt here, this is gonna be a bad time. It's gonna be a bad time. It all comes down to this.
Can you feel the panic? I can. Oh, there's so many. Oh, what's this? Come with. Oh! Okay, that's part of the relic, I believe. Uh, and you can see the direction that it's heading. Okay, that I did not expect to find right now. If I can somehow defend here, then there's a chance. But I don't know if I can without getting a repair in. It's going to be very tight. Okay, what could I do? What could I do? What could I do? I could add this. Oh, no, I can't. Can't add the Electroblast. Can't add any of these. Aim line doesn't really help. So how many waves we've survived, which I think is helpful to figure out when the big scary waves happen. I mean... Yeah, I can't take any of those, so... I guess I'll take the jetpack speed. And hope for a very breezy wave, which I don't expect to happen. I think that thing handles those little guys fairly well. So we might have this. Okay. All right, let's go. Now, problem, I still need a repair. But this is very interesting. So I'm gonna follow that. Nice. So this is the actual relic that we need to find to complete a run. But we also need to find uh, the two power nodes it's connected to. Okay, it's heading in this direction. Wow. And we got Cobalt. Okay. So we're gonna have to come back to this later. See ya. Take this too. Oh, it's gonna. Okay, we're gonna lose a cobalt there, but that's annoying. We'll get it later. Okay, this this could be good because we could have a successful run right off the bat that I was not expecting. So we're gonna take two of these, and then do I want to go into this now? I might. The overcharged shield. I think I will build this. So now, I can interact with this thing, and I've got an overcharged shield there. I was gonna add some extra defense to it. Okay. Okay, we should be- we should be okay right now. Should be. Famous last words. Okay, so the shield is now down. But we are gonna successfully defend. Okay, I'm going. So if I see that thing, I think I just try and make that happen. I wish I would have found some more upgrades here. Just to, if anything, just to show you guys, but I can't really turn this down because, well, let's go. Gifts from the past. Let's take one of these as well so that I can upgrade something. Actually, let me drop a... Let me see. I want this cobalt. There we go. I can't believe we found this. 
in my testing, it took me a long time to get to that. Like, over an hour. But I think we just got lucky. Okay, so this thing's installed here now. What's that gonna do, I wonder? Well, let's find out. Oh, can I do uh, an overcharge? No, I can't. Not while I not after I've started battle. Oh god. Okay, look, our, our health is all the way up, and it summons like this final wave. Man, was that ever cool to find that? Our dome is saved. So, now a couple of things are changing. Apparently there's a new difficulty, there's a new world, and a new map size. Okay, unlock a new element. Okay, so we can unlock a game mode. Score points by sending home as many resources as possible before your dome falls, or you safely leave the planet. Or we can unlock a new gadget battle ability called Reflection. Trigger an active combat ability that reflects incoming projectiles for a short time. I gotta try the game mode. A keeper of status. Okay, so how do we unlock the new... Like, it said new world. Maybe, maybe it's just random. Maybe it's just random. So we have the engineer. Here's the mode. Score points for sending home as many resources as possible before your dome falls, or you safely leave the planet. Okay. And then it's shield there. Let's go back to this for a sec. All the same. Okay. Okay. Well, it, well, we'll try a prestige on the next one. And we'll see what happens. I don't know how different it is. But, uh, it should be fun. Guys, this is Dome Keeper. Check it out down below for yourself. It's coming out next week, so thanks to Raw Fury for hooking us up early. And, uh, yeah, you can expect more of this. It's a blast. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.